Hey guys, I hope you are doing good. In this video, we are going to see how to use custom permission uh, in Salesforce. Uh, this can be utilized in many ways, but I am going to uh, take this use case. Like, I want to hide a delete quick action for a particular permission set on the case object. So, let's see how we can do that. All right, I am logged into my Salesforce org is one of my developer org. So let's see what we are going to do first. So I am going to the case object. I am opening a case record and click edit page. So we will be opening this page in a lightning app builder. So here I have already upgraded my object to a lightning, sorry, dynamic action. Hope everyone knows how to do that. So here, this is what our requirement, right? So here we have this delete uh, quick action and we don't want to display to a particular permission set. So we can do it uh, directly, right? But here is the catch so there is a uh, option to filter it if you click it you can go with the record fields but we cannot um, we, we don't have that permission set fields in that case record so you cannot utilize this record field and there is a device we cannot use this option as well and in advanced you see there are a few things so there is user option so if you choose user option you'll be able to see the profile only so you'll be able to see the profile but not the permission sets so just you'll have the profile uh, fields but yeah this is where we need to use custom uh, permissions to bring in our um, permission set so let's go to the custom permission so yeah let me create a new one and save it okay so now this is done so in order to add this permission set into sorry uh, this custom permissions to a permission set you have to go to your permission sets go there open your custom permission i have created this custom permission set open it and you will have you will be seeing this option custom permissions right over here you can select this so as of now there is no entry so that's why it's blank edit it and you will be seeing all the custom permissions so for this i am adding this and i am saving this option so now our custom permission new custom permission is assigned to this permission set so let's go there refresh the page do this highlight action 
so select this delete option add the filter use advanced select and here you have to choose permissions and this permission you have to select custom permission here or new enter add it then yeah here you can choose your condition so that is equal you can add true or false so if it is true then it will this this action will be only available to that permission set but in our use case we, we are going to hide it so I'm just selecting as false and done so there is a condition added to this one save so that's it so by using this custom permission you can do a lot of things but I just uh, showed you um, how to like, hide or enable with the uh, permission sets so there is no direct uh, relation between this uh, filter in this filter conditions right so we will not be able to uh, use permission sets directly so like in those scenarios you can use custom permissions to add the custom permission into the permission set and then you, you can come back here and you can use the filter advanced option to filter out your new custom permission uh, that's all I wanted to show you in this video you can use this um, custom permission in workflow validation rule formulas so you, you can uh, use it in in many areas so yep explore it and let me know if you have any questions let's meet in another video thank you